Hey guys, welcome back to my annual video upload. And today we're looking at Pocket Procreate 2.0, which dropped just a week and a half ago. So let's get into it. All right, welcome to Pocket Procreate 2.0. Once again, I'm running this on my iPhone 7 Plus. And as you can see, the gallery has been slightly switched up with the first and most important note being that when you create a new scene, you now have the option to choose the dimensions. So this is a great addition and uh, probably one of the biggest features for me personally because I like to paint in a square if I'm going to later be uploading it to Instagram. So here we are looking at one of my recent paintings, popping open the layers tab. Oh, you can see some previous iterations of the hammerhead shark. Uh, you can see that we now have a new option to add groups. You can select multiple layers and delete them all at once or collapse them all. You can create masks. That's now an option. As you can see when you click there, you can select mask. Now under the brushes tab, you can see we have a whole lot of different brushes to choose from. It seems like all the same brushes that were previously in the iPad version of Procreate have now been imported. You can also have imported brushes, which I have just one here. We now have extended controls for the transformation tool. As you can see here, you have all sorts of flipping and distorting. Selection tool itself has been revamped to be on par with the iPad version. All of your layer options can still be found underneath the little wand tool. And another thing that I think a lot of you will be excited for is when you go over to the little wrench icon, looking through here under the canvas option, now continuing on to the perspective guide once you've enabled it, you can click the edit tool and tapping on different points gives you the vantage points in whatever areas. You can also click and drag them around. As you can see, a grid has formed around my little shark. I can turn the opacity and the size up if, if I want it to be much more visible. Once I hit done, as you can see, this has been added. And tapping on your layer, scrolling through, you can use Perspective Assist so all your strokes will line up with the various uh, vanishing points so it's great for that so what else should we cover the engine of pocket procreate has been updated itself so if i go ahead and choose a pencil as you can see we have detailed pen options now one downside that i did notice with this app since it's you know a brand new update and it's quite large uh, I have had some crashing, but thankfully none of the progress in the painting gets disturbed. So as soon as I jump back in, the only downside is I can't undo the steps that I just did. We still have the option to choose smear brush and tapping on it once more will allow you to customize that. As you can see, the opacity and the brush size uh, controls have been slightly changed in design. Alright, this has been a quick look at Pocket Procreate version 2.0. Honestly guys, the fact that it's the same app, free update, is pretty spectacular. There's basically no more divide between using a tablet as opposed to your phone to create artwork. The limitations have been taken further and further away. The biggest difference being that you're using your fingers instead of a pen, unless you go the third party route. Overall, I think it's a super great step in the right direction. I have been enjoying painting with this app and I'm going to continue to do so. So thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, a comment. If you got any questions, I'll try and answer to the best of my ability and I will see you in the next one.